Look about you. Look about you now. The men you see are your comrades, your brothers. They will live with you and die for you. They will protect you and bleed for you. Never in your life will you know such comradeship again. And if you live to be as old as I am, you will always remember today and the days that follow. You'll remember them with a clearness you would not have believed. Each day will be like crystal shining in your minds. Yes, there will be torture and havoc, blood and pain, and you'll remember those too. But above all will be the sweet taste of life. And there is nothing like it, my lads. You can believe this old man when he says it. You may think life tastes sweet now, but when death is just a heartbeat away, then life becomes unbearably desirable. And when you survive, everything you do is filled and enhanced with a greater joy. The sunlight, the breeze, a good wine, Woman's lips, a child's love. Life is nothing until death has been faced down. In years to come, men will say, I wish I had been there with them, but by then the cause won't matter. You are standing at a frozen moment in history. When this battle is done, either the Drenai will rise again, or a new empire will dawn. You are now men of history. Some of you are thinking you will panic and run. You won't. Others are worried about dying. Some of you will. But all men die. No one ever gets out of this life alive. I fought at Stelm Pass when they said we were finished. They said the odds were too great. But I said be damned to them. For I am Druss. And I have never been beaten. Not by Nadia, Satuli, Ventrin, Fabian, or Drenai. And by all the gods and demons of this world, I tell you now, I do not intend to be beaten here either. forces behind the awards is Deborah Murphy, our friend and colleague, who, as some of you may know, lost her battle against uh, breast cancer in May. We've lost Deborah, so we're thinking very much of her tonight as we are thinking of, of David Gilmore. And I think Anne would like to say a few words about that. We all miss Deborah, in particular her husband Bill and her daughter Tiffany. We'll miss her dreadfully. She was a great person, and the reason that she, one of the reasons that she was such a fan of Dave's was not only did she love his books, but he was so supportive to new writers. She met him first at Fen Farm, where he used to do writing courses, and he gave her a real kickstart to her career. Whereas Miller Lau, she published five books: uh, the Tally, Tally Skirt trilogy and the Twinkle Sue Bone, or the follow-ups to those. She was a lovely person, she was energetic, she was very, very good at tech. Boy, if I'd been as good as her at tech, I wouldn't have had half the stress over these last few weeks that I have had. <laughs> anyway, so we commemorate then not just Deborah, but also our dear friend Dave, in whose honour we created these awards, because he was always so supportive to new writers, and he was always one to say, stand up and be counted, speak out for what you believe in. Um, it, it, another tradition we have, apart from James's reading and the next item, is that we like to give some idea of the voting theme. And we can tell you that this year, votes in total were 14,164. And we had a record number of countries. We had votes from 101 countries. 
Um, is, is Christine here? Because I know we had one vote from somewhere very unusual. Christine? Can't say this. Somewhere extremely obscure. Where was it? Christine? Maybe not. We'll tell you later. <laughs> it's better star than I think it was. But anyway, one vote. What was it? Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. One vote from Kazakhstan. So there's one fantasy reason in Kazakhstan. Um, <coughs> so well over 14,000 votes from 101 countries, pretty much an international norm, we'd say. Okay, um, now he's barely got over his performance, but what we do now is we get James back up again because uh, something we do every year is we have an auction. And the auction is made possible from the generosity of publishers, authors, artists, and various other people who very kindly donate lots to us. We auction them off in order to pay for, uh, essentially, to pay for this presentation and for the trophies and so on and so forth. So we're going to ask James to come back up, and we're going to ask you all to dig deep into your pockets and your wallets and your purses, please. This can be done two ways. The easy way or the hard way. Either you all dig into your pockets, put up your hands, and hand out some money for these excellent items, or the room stays locked <laughs> until the last thing falls asleep and you pick your pockets for the said money. So let's do it the easy way. I can also exclusively reveal that uh, I have positioned snipers around the gallery. If anyone found being tight will be shot. Okay, what we're going to do is, uh, with each lot, we're going to raise up the hands and I'll, I'll say a man, five pounds here to add that. That's all that normal auctiony stuff. And at the end, if you're the winning bidder, if you could shout your name out, and then Christine, who we just saw, will come back. Hey, here's Christine. Christine will write your name down. If you go and find Christine afterwards, she will be able to give you your superb, the superb thing that you have bid for, and obviously uh, take your money, if that's okay. Right, let's get started. We have plenty to get through and not much time, and I don't want people to get bored. <laughs> so let's go. But I'm saying one other thing. We don't reach a reserve price. I'm going to, quite quickly, I'm going to take that item away and we're going to put it into an online auction on the site. I think probably next week, but we'll let you know. What next week, Christine? I'm sorry? What kind of payment options? How do you pay? I don't know. <laughs> Does that help? <laughs> Christine. Check, cash, PayPal, bank transfer, however, no IOUs. Okay. All blood. <laughs> right. So what do I bid for this lot? Let's, I'm going to start at five pounds, five pounds. Come on, someone put the hand up. Five pounds here. Ten pounds? Ten? Ten. Fifteen. Let's see. Fifteen. Hand up. Fifteen. Twenty? Twenty? Twenty-five from anyone? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Come on. Don't make me beg. Twenty-five. Thirty? Good man. Thirty. Thirty-five from anyone? Thirty-five. I don't like begging. You don't want to see me crying. Thirty-five, please. Thank you very much. Do I hear forty or some small increment between thirty-five and forty? Say 37. 37, excellent. 39. So we've got a hand up. I haven't. 37. Okay, we've got up. 37 is good. Any more? Okay, 37 is going once, twice, and three times. Thank you. So can you shout out your name for me? Joey Georgie. <laughs> I've got the first. How do you spell your surname, sir? S H O J I. S H O J I. <laughs> We're away. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. One forty. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. One forty. That's excellent. One forty-five. I'm going to be quick here. Going once. One forty-five. Okay. One. <laughs> Are you in the same, in the same family? <laughs> They're going to be fighting. 150. 150. 155. 155. Excellent. 155. 160. 160. Actually, not amazing. This is a brilliant, brilliant block. 160. We're at 155. Going once, twice, and so. Thank you very much. Can you shout out your name for me, please? Uh, Laurel Hill. Laurel Hill. 
<laughs> Lot three. We have a three A, B, and C. These are three limited edition and Sudworth prints. Are we seeing them all at once or one at a time? One at a time. <laughs> the great thing is you can bid on one and like the next one better and spend even more money. <laughs> Super. Right. <coughs> it's beautiful. Black Captain in the Yes? Black Captain Moonlight. Is that easy it says? Ten pounds. Ten. Twenty. 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 Don't make me come out there. Twenty. Lot number three B. And so worth again. Untitled. <laughs> Possibly. Thank you very much. It's beautiful, whatever it is. I always want to go there. Let's do it again. I need the same amount. I need 40 pounds. Who wants a start at 40 pounds? As I say, I've got all night. <laughs> There's no alcohol in here. A limited air supply. <laughs> Children. Well, I may let them leave. 40? Thank you very much indeed. Very kind of you. Any more than 40? Or should we, we can stick at 40 straight away? Let's do that. Thank you very much indeed for that. Thank you. Can you shout out your name, please? Sarah Ash. So it is. Hello, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Ash, 40 pounds. There's been such a pathetic bidding from this side. There has been clapping. There'll be lots of clapping here and none. Fifteen. Mm. Danger of not reaching reserve price. Eighteen. Eighteen. going to do it. <laughs> but thank you very much for your help. <laughs> do I hear slightly more than twice that? <laughs> you do very much, Alex. Lot five. Sword with sheath. From three hundred. I don't think they mean there's 300 of them. It's possibly something to do with a film. The next by Forbidden Planet. Reasonably high value item. Let's start the bidding at uh, 25 pounds. 25 pounds to a hit. 25. 30? 30. 35. 35. 40? 40. Thank you, young man. Thank you very much. 45. 45. How's your pocket money holding up? 50. 55? Good man. Do I hear 60? I do. How much pocket money do you get a week? 65? Do I hear 65? 65, thank you, Stuart. Sure. That's how he, he kills his own as man. <laughs> Any more? Do I hear 70? Do I around the wall? 70. Limited edition. Mild steel, pretty, <coughs> can be used for assassination attempts, <laughs> as you will find out if the reserve price is not reached. Seventeen. What were you at? Sixty-five. Thank you. The reserve price is ten more pounds. Yeah. Good man. No, I don't. I don't I'll sell it. Don't do this. <laughs> Thank you very much for your offer anyway. Uh, thank you very much, Stuart Longstrong again. 65. Thank you very much, Stuart. Right. Right, lot 8, donated by Tor. Ooh, say. The full 2013 catalogue from Tor. It isn't just a catalogue. <laughs> Make that clear. Oh. It's a full catalogue, but not just a catalogue. The books are in the catalogue. 2013 from Tor UK. About, do we, are we allowed to know how many titles that is? 40. This is a lot of books by a lot of top authors. So, get your money out. Or we'll get your money out when you go and see Christine. I'm going to start at £45. I need to go further up than there. 45. 50. 55. 60. 65. 70. 70. 70. 70. 80. 80. 80. 85. 90. Thank you very much. 95. Thank you, sir. Come on, 100. Five more pounds. 100. Thank you, Lee. 105. 110. 100. 120. Thank you, sir. 125. <coughs> 120. Okay. 
going once, twice, and three times. Thank you very much, sir. That's very good. <laughs> right, we're going to move on to lot 11, which is the Mahanic. This is a Didier Graffet sketch created by the artist. Here it is. His hands holding the dagger. That is my guess. I can just run. So I'm going to read out the nominations for the Raven Heart Award. 
Didier Graffet and Dave Senior for The Red Country by Joe Abercrombie, published by Galantz. Dominic Harmon for Legion of Shadow by Michael J. Ward, published by Galantz. Clint Langley for Besieged by Rowena Corey Daniels, published by Solaris. Silas Manhood for the, for the Blinding Knife by Brent Weeks, published by Orbit. Colin Thomas, The Storm Dance by Jay Christoph, published by Pan Macmillan, UK. And Stephen Yule for The Black Mausoleum by Stephen Dayas, published by Galant. And the winner is... Ten minutes later. <laughs> And the winner is Didier Graffé. <laughs> Okay. Um, well, 
if I thought this was going to happen, I would have gone on the diet. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a bit too late for that now. So, um, just a couple of thank yous. Firstly, to my wife and children for putting up with me. Also, to um, John Gerald, my agent, who is a true gent. Julie Crisp, my lovely editor from Tour UK, and also everyone at Team Tour. Thank you.
want to say is that next year we're back to our usual venue, the Magic Circle headquarters in London. And on a date that we hope will prove lucky for us, it's on Friday the 13th of June, 2014. And we hope that we'll see as many of you there as possible. Now, we hope that you're going to come down to the Regency Room, join us for drinks and bills and gossip, and the launch of the Legends Anthology. Thank you very much for all of you for being here.